Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So the Dragon's Rejects have engaged the Reaper forces. The Night Gaunts are now following suit. Alright, so here we are on the planet. A couple of our pilots wanted to go with our fluorescent pink camouflage. We let them do that today. Don't mind that in the city so much. People will mistake them for a hologram, which is fine. Uh, so we're going to run with this today. Now, um, we do have, I think, one small change. I haven't played these guys in a little while, so i got to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Incendiaries, standards, improved, and incendiary. Okay, good. Um, so this is a straight-up four-net half-skull fight against the clans. Now, they dropped a heavy lance on the planet is what the mission is. So we're supposed to be able to go and take that lance out. Now it was a uh, um, one of those two ten salvage missions, so it's probably going to be really tough. Now they're back; at, they're only back in this corner. So there's either one or two lances, um, which you know for us it should be fine. I think we're going to be okay. I just have to decide. I haven't. I kind of floated around the map a bit to try and find out which would be the best way to approach this. I don't want to split my forces because I want to take down their units like one at a time with everybody on them. We got enemy contacts already. Where are they? Here they are here. What do we got? Kodiak. Oh, wonderful. Another Kodiak. Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's get up here. So we do have some fast forces. We got some storm crows Moving and some Novas. Relatively fast. This is good. Confirmed. So hopefully we'll be able to pull off some hit and run tactics here. I hope. Acknowledged. We're just going to move everybody forward. Now I did bring the Hellbringer, the 65 tonner. I said it was going to wait until we got a... Uh, um, Moving to position. Uh, I said it was going to wait till we got a... Um, an LBX-20. But I decided to go with a different, different build on this one. So... Um, Fist of Dorne is constantly challenging me to try and try different things. I, th I thought I would try a different build in this. I'm always concerned about using mechs uh, in close with the enemy. And the reason why is on a big map, right, the last thing you want to do if you've got the room to move around is get in close with your enemy because that, and like, especially if there's lots of them, because then you're just going to, unless all of your guys are closing, you're just going to be a bullet sponge. If you stay back, you know, you're, you don't have to worry about half their weapons most of the time, right? But I thought, okay, well, I'm going to challenge myself. So we didn't have a, a like, the Hellbringer has got very limited um, um, space on it. So I thought, I thought dropping the uh, AC-20 Kaliyama, the one that does 120 damage, with um, three tons of precision and one ton of normal ammo, and then two medium heavy lasers, right? So the range on these guys is all 360. But I put in the range sensors, which gives me plus 10% range. So the range is about 400 meters now with these. Now these are minus one to hit, but we do have the uh, the Omni uh, arm po uh, pod that gives us plus one to hit. So it negates the, negates the penalty, which is fine. We've got a zoom on this thing, uh, exchanger, because I needed it to sink the heat. A um, couple of heat sinks, but we've got the NSS here, which we can turn on and off. It's, I guess it starts in the on mode. To basically hide, and we got a guard. We've got the guardian ECM. We're going to run in passive mode, but we're going to just sprint up here. Now it doesn't say anything about sprinting, not sprinting with the NSS on. Oh yeah, I also brought the demolisher. We were limited to 550 tons in this drop too, so I couldn't bring my other vehicles. I was going to bring everybody, but couldn't do that. So, um, so yeah, um, so yeah. I don't know if you have to walk with the NSS. I know some stealth systems you do need to walk in order for it to engage properly. Ready, get it on. But this one it never really said that, so I wasn't really concerned about it. So those are, we've only seen the two Kodiaks, eh? Uh, let's not get all the way up the ramp. Let's get part way up. On my way. We gotta wait for the Talos anyway. I think it's so damn slow. But yeah, I'm gonna challenge myself on this one. See if we can I'm get here. that to work. It doesn't really like. I like I like the Going. fast moving. You know, flanking long-range play style. Because you think about it in a, in a wide open battle. Well, it's not, I mean, the city fighting is a little different. But in a wide open battlefield, that's what you'd want. You wouldn't want to get too close yes, to your no enemy. Um, unless you knew you could overpower them, right? 
Okay. What can I do for you? To ERPPCs and the LBX5 Mad Dog. Let's get up to here. Metal to the metal. They're just see. It looks like a hologram, so they're, they're going to think he's a hologram. All right. Um, Standing by. Let's go, Rose. I'm not going to shoot at them at range. There's no point in wasting ammo until we get close. I got a feeling we're going to be maxing out our ammo on this one. If they've got two lances and they're starting off with two 100 ton mechs like that. Ah, uh, man, we're going to be like, oh, well. I take it back. You want to keep jumping up there? We're good with that. We're just going to move up and take those buildings down then. Stay up on there, guys. I don't mind damaging your legs. God, we're getting bottlenecked here. Yes, Commander. Which is probably a good thing. It let, lets our slow vehicle and our um, our slow mech catch up with everybody. But yeah, I'm interested to see how this Kaliyama is going to do. It's an Alpha Strike of 200, which isn't too bad for a fast-moving 65-ton mech with the precision ammo. I mean, the thing's got a it's got a 15% jam chance mitigated by gunnery. I think the gunnery for the pilot. Um, what's her, what's Igor's gunnery? Eight, I think. Gunnery eight. So that's I think like a seven percent reduction. So it's it's pretty low chance for jamming. It's less than ten percent. Yes, Commander. We can't let you far fall too far behind. You got the AMS. Go into full throttle. So yeah, I mean, um, it's you know it's an iffy thing, and it's got the two. Two medium improved heavy, so a nice big chunky alpha strike. And if with the speed, if we can get back strikes with this thing, getting in close, that's going to be devastating. I think. Standing All right, by. now, how do I want to engage these guys? These guys are back that way. Do we go up here? There's a bit of a ramp that gives us a little bit of protection on that side. If we take this route, then we can go up here and through. We've got a transformer there. I'm just thinking that um, several people have pointed out too that maybe taking out transformers while the enemies are near them would help out too. I, I mean, I don't really think of those things when I'm playing, but it does make perfect sense. Are you both in the same building? You're not. So we've got standard. I want to get more sensors on these guys. Let's move our fast movers in a little closer here. I haven't decided which way we're going to go yet. We got another target. So we could go this way. It, it's a bit of a more of an open area. It gives us a ramp to go down and move and hide if we have to. So what do we got back here? Black Knight. Okay. Now can I take this building out? 60 hit points. They both got 60. This guy's up a little higher. I should be able to just... Can't, how come I can't target the building? Normally you can target the building. I'm not going to hold off. I think you need to be in direct line of sight to be able to target the building though. I'm sure if I shoot enough missiles over there it'll just blow the buildings up. But uh, let's hold off. Oh, we got another guy over here too. Gargoyle. Prime. Two LBX-5s. ER small Parabesser M6s. Alright, so he's a little, not dangerous at range, but... So this is a standard Black Knight. We got good sensors on these guys. Holy crap. Two ER larges. Four mediums. SRM six streak plus a hell of a lot of melee. 200 death from above. We know what that guy's doing. And this guy's the same. Alright, that's five. Receiving you. That's four. One, two, five. Three, sir. That. Right, three. All right, you're good. Yeah, you're good. We're going to be using the sensor lock, probably. You keep jumping around, buddy. Get yourself nice and unstable. So that when we do encounter you, we'll knock your ass straight down and then finish you off real fast. I hear you. How far can you go? Yeah. Going turbo. 
So uh, I don't know when this episode's going to air. I've got a bunch of these already in the bank. It's going to come after, like, it'll maybe Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. I'm hoping to have the uh, Discord up by then. If it is, then just ignore my, what I'm about to say. But for the next uh, series, the Battle Report series, I'm going to get a, a, a Discord going. And uh, let's get you to here, I think. Got it, Commander. Um, I'm going to get a Discord going. Uh, we can do all our conversations in there. Uh, figure out what we want to do. I've already posted the poll uh, Monday, which is the day I'm recording this, um, about, you know, the potential for uh, what faction we're going to be and who we're going to be facing. Uh, as of me doing this, um, there was, um, I don't know, a, f a fair number of posts. I think it was like 16 or something posts on that. 16 people or 15 people, something like that, had uh, commented, which is pretty good. It was, only, it was only up for like six hours, which is great, which means there's a lot of people that are interested. I'm really happy good about that. Cause I think it, I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. I, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what we can do with it. Okay, I want to get you in as far as we can Double get time. you before we need to go stealthy here. I can see that guy. That's scary. We can't get into death from above range. Okay, we can see him from here. Copy that. I see you. Do we got somebody? Orders. Obviously not in range for the demolisher. On my way. Double time. Okay. Jeez, guy, you're slow as fuck. Let's shoot that building out from underneath him. What do we say? I can see it. Yep, I can target the building. Wait, go back. It's got 80 hit points. Let's not go too crazy with it. Let's just leave you on. Go standard. That might just give us enough. All we gotta do is hit it with one or two missiles. Nice. Damage those legs early. A hundred damage? No. No way. Nah, it's only 50. A hundred total, 50 in each leg. Okay. I saw the 100, 100, and I thought it was taking a couple hundred points damage. I'm like, there's no... I know the mech is, that is heavy, but... You know, there's the gargoyle. So let's wreck that guy early. Um... Let's engage this side. I, I think they, the, having the pro, the fire lanes here is probably a better idea. Let's get you into the trees in case somebody decides to shoot at you because you're a little far forward. Full throttle. Full throttle. Now you notice I didn't bring the bandit. And the reason why I didn't bring the bandit is if we do decide to close with the enemy and they want to play stompy stompy robots, the bandit's done for. So um, the demolisher for me, I, I, plus not knowing how badly, how about how how many enemies there were going to be, and just an FYI, oh, there's someone over there too, eh? Just an FYI, the final battle against the Red Reaper, who's up here, is going to be that uh, the mission. I, I wonder if we need to go this way. They're drawing me into a fight I don't want to get into. Screw you, you're not going to sucker me this time. I'm going to go around this way. Double time. Let's go. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking the bait. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember what the hell I was saying now. I get thinking about tactics and then I completely forget everything I was... Yeah, it could be the last guys over here. I'm receiving you. I hate that when I forget things like that. It really bothers me. Got it. Full speed, it's part of getting no old, target. I guess. Old and like being sleep deprived for most of your life. Um, we just got regular ammo, right? Yeah. So you're okay. Yeah, so, um, as far as the scenario goes, it looks like it's going to be Inner Sphere House versus Inner Sphere House, which I think is kind of cool. 
I mean, like, honestly, I, it doesn't matter what factions we take to start. Uh, actually, where are you? We might be able to... Put some missiles down on you. And miss and hit the building. Will that work? What's my chance to hit? Pretty darn low. Let's see if we can get that building. No. It's not doing any damage to the building. Interesting. I thought the misses would hit the building, but I guess not. Alright, let's get you over this way. We need to have consolidated firepower on this side. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh yeah, I know what I was saying. Der yeah, so the last battle against the Red Reaper is going to be um, that uh, two eleven salvage mission against the Word of Blake, which should be a nightmare. They've got they've got six mechs per lance, so and that's a straight up battle in the city. I'm going to take that with these guys, and... Well, because I have to take it with these guys, unfortunately. But uh, I'll take it with these guys, the and then Double see how we can do. Now, I'll, I'll probably have the two Mad Cats ready by then. Uh, or, t sorry, Timberwolves. I'll have both of those guys ready, so we, we'll, we, we will be using those instead of probably the Novas. Oh, now all i got to do is take that building down. Commander. Can't hit that building from here, huh? Guess not. All right, well, just keep pushing it forward. I'm gonna need your guns and armor. Waiting for order. All right, Igor. Um, I wasn't worried about how nasty this could be. I would, I'd send you out hunting that last guy over there, but. Uh, I think we'll worry about that later. All right. Um, let's get ready for these guys, I guess. Order. Okay, we got sight on the gargoyle. We got sight on that guy. They don't have a lot of, like a tremendous amount of fire firepower. So let's move in a bit. No shooting, just running. Still out of melee range here. And start doing things like this. Um, yeah, let's make sure we get the building. Firing on target. That should be enough to bring it down. They'll both take damage in the legs. It says 100, but it's obviously not going to be. So he just took... Oh man, he took like... 64? You're, brought, you're, brought, you're bringing LBXs right to a laser Holy fight, buddy. Firm. And this guy took... more. It took a fair bit of damage in that fall. I await your command. I know it said 100, but it wasn't 100. There's no way. Uh, let's not get... That's a front shot. Let's put you in here, because we have other guys that have to come around the corner still, and they probably can't go as far as you. So, I think... It's pretty much the same. Let's go damage in the gargoyle, I think. I'm not going to do the uh, warlord yet. Yep. We got it started. Pissing them off. They got sensor lock on me. It's not going to help them. Don't worry about it. They don't got the juice for this fight. That guy, on the other hand. You got nothing. You hear me? It's got to be a stealth unit. Oh, there's a transformer right here. 
Oh, it's a, um... <laughs> well, somebody, somebody's about to die by AC-20. Oh, okay. Waiting for orders. That's just too good. Okay, we'll get into here. Maximum speed. We're just a little bit behind on positioning here, but that's fine. The lighter guys can engage to start off with. Should get one off him. On. Yep, beautiful. Open up on this guy. Switch to standard ammo. Firing. Nice. Sucks that this guy's got a, Scored a critical hit. bigger loadout than you do. I'm here. Bigger damage potential for that guy. Double time. Let's go. All right, Rose. Let's see what you can do. The regular lasers here. Let's get some warlord on this guy. See how much damage we can do. Here it comes. Ten four. Well, still didn't take a lot. Maybe we'll bury him under it. Ah, eh, maybe not. Who's up? Oh, they are. Took a hard hit there. Okay, I think their next move is going to be on top of the buildings. I hear you. And then we're going to back up and don't shoot our guy in the back. Going turbo. Let's just see if it's uh, 37, 50. But if we miss, we hit this guy. It's actually not too bad. I want to shoot this guy. Nope. I guess we go up to this guy. That's fine. Tell me what to shoot. All right, no big deal. All right. Clearing up away for me to see you. Beautiful. Bye. Thanks for helping out. Appreciate that. Okay, let's see how hot that guy is. The other guy seemed pretty hot. Let's heat him up. I don't want to go damage on this guy. I just want to heat him up. Um, let's use control burst. It gives me two turns of reduced... Re uh, Reduce jam chance, so I'd rather start off, start off with that so we can at least get some heat going. Ah, shit. Oh well. Negative damage. Repeat. That was a waste. Negative damage. What's up, motherfucker? Tell you what, let me show you why my loadout is better than your loadout. Let me explain it to you. Narcs and incendiaries and the PPC. Control burst, get that going early. Well, let's give them to him then. There's a little bit of splaining for you. What can I do for you? He handled that really handled that really well though. Fuck, this guy's dead meat. Do I go around the front of him and see if I can get a headshot? Can I, can I get to the front of him? I can't. Let's not get too far out of position. We're Don't just going to walk over. Twice. Get our instability back. Let's teach this guy a lesson. It's an exterminator. Fuck it. Might as well go for the headshot. That's from above 130, eh? I'd laugh if we get this. No. Good damage, though. Wait. We did get a head hit, just with the heavy laser, though. 
Yeah, just with the heavy laser. Good shooting, man. It's pretty damn good shooting. Did you actually get in? You're not quite in range yet. Almost, though. Almost in range. Yes, yeah, so I'm totally excited about getting that Discord up and running and generating the first map for the fight. There's a lot of things we got to discuss. A lot of people have brought up some great points. And, um, like, on the actual YouTube video. I was going to do a second YouTube yeah, video, but I'm going to ignore that. I'm just going to go right to the Discord. And I think um, if we can bring those points onto the Discord, uh, there's a lot of great ideas, like, really great ideas. So I don't want to discard anything. I want to throw it all on the table, and then we can decide what we want to do and how we want to do it. Got something so... Done. Yep, there is something I want done. Just back up like this. Location confirmed. These guys don't have the speed to do anything to us, so not really worried about that. We got incendiaries. What else do we have? Chaff and what else? EMP. So how is this guy's? Oh, he's lost his uh, LVX and his and an SRM. So he's not that much of a threat. I don't want to waste my EMP on him. Let's just use standard on this guy and just fire at him. I'm going to save my warlord for a little later. Whatever you say, uh. Boom. Critical hit, Commander. Right torso gone. Commander. But he's going down. This turn. Move order received. They got a lot of lasers, but we've got a lot of armor, so I'm okay with uh, doing a bit of exchange of fire here. I'm going to go with the improved on him. We're going to hammer him. Hopefully we take him down with this. Ooh, nice. Splash over. Oh, let's see if he doesn't make this. Yeah, I resisted it. Battle mech power up detected. Wait, it said pilot injured. That's weird. Whatever. Waiting on you, Commander. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be hoping for a uh, a knockout, like knocking pilots out. There's no point in uh -huh. like hoping for that. You might get it, you might not, but I'm not. I'm not going to stay in the hope that we knock a pilot out. Um, I will try for a headshot, though. Roger that. On target. There we go. Stay down. We destroyed his engine. All right. I hear ya. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. So, wait a minute. So the NSS mode... Go. It's on, right? So, does it default on? So when on is active, I got lower sensor signature, bonus heat weapon heat generated, obviously, and plus 10 heat per turn. Yeah, that's probably why I'm so damn relatively hot in comparison. This guy's got a stealth unit on as well. This guy's got a lot of lasers, though. Let's... uh. I don't have to engage this guy. I don't have to get close. There's no reason. I'm out of position right now too, right? Which is a big deal. Let's just go with the AC-20. Take a shot at him. Here we go. Nope. Nope. We'll see what he does. If he moves forward, then we'll engage him again. He's kind of like at the edge of the... Oh, these guys keep jumping forward. He's at the edge of the Kodiak range. Looks like we're only fighting the one lance too, so. Okay, that hurt. Commander. We got a mech over here Copy that that, that uh, is a little cold. He's just come outside, come inside from the from being in the cold. Can you warm him up a little bit more? 
What's our rockets? 32%. Yeah, let's see if we can get the shutdown this turn. Now there's a mech that needs an AMS. Out of SRM. Lost evasive. Waiting for orders. At least these guys are constantly jumping when they move, you know? That's a that's a bonus. So like since I've installed the uh I think these guys are still well out of range though. Uh, since I've installed the new um, uh, version of Rogue Tech, I've noticed some like there's like minor changes here and there in pilots. Not a tremendous amount, but a minor changes here and there. Wow, that's just it, eh? All right, let's just start using some of our resolve. We got lots of it. Starting this guy's leg if we can. Come on, Rose. It's something with you and those large lasers. Let's go. Reporting critical hit. We're just going to keep fading back. There's no way that these guys can do anything to us. Now, these guys had a bunch of other mechs. Because there was one more Lance and they weren't melee mechs. Uh, that guy's doing some stuff. I should just shut my mouth. I don't know why I talk. Reporting. Serious these guys had a Lance of, like, you know, Losing light heavies and mediums that could engage us earlier then um, it might be a different story, but at this point, it's just a matter of time for them. Um, yeah. Let's go this route. Come on. You know you want to. And... Yes, that should be a shutdown there, I think. There's the leg. And the knockdown. Almost a shutdown. Almost got him. I was really hoping this was gonna be harder. I was hoping I was hoping for two units. You're gonna keep jumping, are you? I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, we got six of the uh, SRMs though. Orders. Let's back it up. These guys are still at a range. And they know it. Leg shot, please. Here it comes. I have a, I, I have a sneaky suspicion that the pilots are not going to bail out of these mechs. Uh, let's get you here. Good to go. Not the best, but that's where we're going to be. Ninety-four left. Got some slug ammo. Let's go ahead and use that. Copy that. Not enough, eh? Couldn't get that leg, huh? Waiting for orders. All right, ba blade. Back up and give some people some room, and let's go. Th let's use your uh, LRMs to clean up the leg here. Yeah, we just need one hit. Just land with one of them, buddy. Firing on target. There you go. Hostile removed. Two down. Come on, get reinforcements. Itching for a really good fight. That's why I took this mission. Five and a, four and a half skulls. I figure we find it at the position where it's going to be a good battle with what we have. I mean, it, they're doing good damage to us. Wow, that was bad. Just that if those Kodiaks weren't weren't uh, aye, aye. melee mechs, it would be a tougher fight. That's a clear shot. I'll take that. On my way. I'll take the clear shot. Pilot injury. Good to go. Let's get in the open here. Got it. We're gonna engage this guy. 
then we'll bring the Hellbringer around to uh, do some more damage to this guy here. Really, that bad, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have a big targeting computer on this guy either, and... Firing on target. Good thing this city's abandoned. Ready for orders. Well, there'll be a lot of new real estate for people. Uh, let's go... Here? Location confirmed. So when I reinstalled Rogue Tech, they, they, um, I want to go for the legs, probably. Uh, we don't got that great a chance to hit, so let's just fire. Um, when I reinstalled Rogue Tech, um, I made sure that we didn't have any extra lances, but I also made sure that we had the, what was it now? There was the ability for the enemies to adjust their force strength based on your strength, which I eliminated. I turned that off, so the enemy force strength will be whatever it's going to be, and hopefully they shouldn't drop in strength. Now, I think that only applies, I and mean, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that only applies if you have another, like a bonus lance dropping with you. I could be, I could be completely wrong, but if it doesn't, hopefully we can get encounter some uh, tougher guys. That would be nice. I don't have to say these guys aren't tough, it's just that it's, they're just not in the right situation. Wow. Let's keep it cool. We're going to close with this guy next turn, so... Time to die. Yeah. See, this guy doesn't have... I have an NSS. I don't know what this guy's running, though. It's not an NSS. It's something else. There's, like, multiple stealth systems. I know one is, like... You can, it's in your, like, it's in the, um, not the cockpit, what is it? Not the center torso. I guess it's the center torso. Okay. It's one of your bolt-ons, basically. You can add the stealth system there, which is like a lower range stealth system, I believe. Engaging target. You guys got a fair bit of damage reduction. Critical hit, Commander. So there's that stealth system, there's the NSS, there's the Chameleon. Maybe that's what that guy has. That's what I was thinking of, the Chameleon. Okay, you don't need to move. Let's get some heat on this guy, because this guy's not going to heat up unless we force him to heat up. Nice. Oh, put him over with two shots. 72 heat, do you see that? Holy crap. Now he's going to sink most of that. Or he thinks he's going to sink most of that. Because we got... Uh, Yonder destroyer of worlds here. One second. Yeah, I didn't want to be like just a primary incendiary build, but um, we're kind. I might as well use these now. We're kind of at that point where we're fighting up. We're hitting up, right? So in order to take on some of these heavier max, the incendiaries are kind of needed, right? You got to be able to pull them out of the battle, like that guy, right? He's still going to shoot. But he might shut down. He might not shoot. I've seen it now where the enemy just doesn't shoot willy-nilly. Uh, where was that? Right here? Sure. Moving out. So they might. he might not just shoot willy-nilly. Let's go for this leg so we don't... Uh... Come on. Got the right leg. Okay. That was the one we were shooting for, right? Right. Yeah. I didn't want to blow through the left torso. Come on, buddy, jump. I dare you. Jump up on a building. That would really help us out a little bit. Thanks for showing up. Have a seat. Drunk ass. Oh, he's down to one health. That's what I mean, though. Like, there's the, the jumping. They got to work on that. I don't know... Like I said, I was fighting a marshal once, and it was it was jumping continuously on top of buildings, which I guess is okay. But then every time okay, you shoot it, you shoot it, the building out from under it, and it falls, and then it jumps up on another building. You shoot the building out from under it, and it falls. You think the guy, the pilot, would have learned its lesson at that point? All right. Move order received. Let's get over here. Tiny bit of evasion, not a lot. 
Time to use this. These larges on. And you've got 49 left here. One of these two should hit. Engaging target. There we go. Target eliminated. I'm receiving you. That's some good salvage. You know, I've been saying, I don't know how many times, oh, yeah, we need to get a melee mech. We need to get a melee mech. Well, on the way. how about a Kodiak? Is that going to, how's that for melee? Is that going to be okay? I don't know if I've got, a, I don't know if it's got a 400 core, and I don't know how fast the damn thing is, but, um, yes, yeah, just pepper them with some damage. Scored a critical hit. Waiting for orders. This guy decided not to move. I wonder if I can... I can't OP his head. But I can OP his legs. We can get that stealth system. That would be much better for the... Uh... Right, Commander. What are you... This guy's like looking around like... I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, still gonna try it. Oh, he's only firing one weapon, though. I guess he was trying to drop a little heat. Didn't quite work. I think he was trying. Wait, I'm in the trees there. That's in the open. Beautiful. Better chance to hit. So we go out to this guy's leg. That Black Knight is pretty much done now. He can't do anything. This guy, on the other hand, still got lots of lasers. Oh, yeah, he's got that stealth system. I keep forgetting. Uh, go for this. Damn it! All the missiles hit his leg. Some of them did anyway. Guard a critical hit. Well, somebody's in a lot Commander. of trouble. How about you finish overheating that guy? Actually, what's your chance to hit? Pretty damn good. Let's go control bursts. Let's go offensive push on this guy. And then let's go this leg and switch to standard ammo. We're still going to do heat damage if we hit, but we're doing 75 damage per uh, shot here, so. What do we get? I don't know what. Didn't we, maybe we hit the leg. I don't think so. No, the arm. Sure, the farthest thing from us we hit. You. Not that it matters. Let's go this route. OP. This guy. Let's try this leg. PPC's on. We'll drop incendiaries with these. We'll switch this to LK. Leave the narcs on them. And yeah. There's the PPC hit. Might get a knockdown here. 24 heat's pretty good. There's the knockdown. Yeah, they had one more lance. I was hoping for two lances, but yes, not quite get that, unfortunately. That's all right. Moving Maybe next position. time. Maybe next time. Don't hit our own guy. Oh, this guy didn't move. Can we sensor lock him anyway? Don't sensor think it matters. It's just an evasion thing. I know it, it gives you uh, targeting information, though. And it can reveal... I think it can reveal units that are fully stealth. Let's just try for this leg. A little bit of damage in the leg. And the engine destroyed. Oh, well. Destroyed. I hear ya. Uh, your AC-20 was jammed anyway. I was going to say you didn't get a chance to kill him, but... Your AC-20 is jammed. It's fine. We need to get a pilot on here that can handle that AC-20. Let's go after this leg. Tell me what to shoot. Ooh, we got one on the leg, I think. Yep. Want some more, huh? He's stressed. Who's up? Yes, Commander. You think you could uh slug shoot that guy, maybe? Moving to position. She's actually quite she's actually quite a good pilot, so with good targeting. 32, eh? Let's see if we get lucky. Well, we got the wrong side, I think. 
Hello. Oh. Oh well. Commander. All right, dude. Let's go number two. Affirmative. Who does number two work for? I made that reference a little while ago. I think it went over someone's head. It, it not sorry. I apologize. Not over somebody's head. They didn't identify the reference. And if you've never seen Austin Powers, I can't remember if it was the first one or the second one, where he gets attacked by the uh, the assassin, Lucky Charms assassin, in the bathroom, and he's sitting beside. It's not Tom Tom Arnold. It's um. Is it Tom Arnold? He's sitting beside somebody, like in the stall next to him. And he's like being attacked. And the guy thinks he's taking a dump. And he's like questioning the guy, who does number two work for? As he's dunking the guy's head in the toilet. And, I, and the guy's like, oh, it's not Tom Arnold. I don't know who it is, but he's like, the guy's like, <laughs> he's like, you tell that, you show that turd who's boss. Mission successful. My wife and I both love the Austin Powers films, so it's like, that's kind of the running joke in the family. That we're well, not running a joke, but it's a running joke. Though, who does number two work for? So whenever, whenever someone's like doing the uh, the um, any kind of uh, poo references or anything like that, that's the first thing I think of. Is that all right? I think that's the choice. I don't think there's any other choice at this point. We're gonna grab those three. There's a lot of stuff here. There's the chameleon LPS. So that's the one. Reduce seat uh, minus fifty reduced visibility minus fifty percent sensor signature. Ours is minus seventy percent, but it's not reduced visibility, which is why you're still easy to hit if they can see you. Persistent ECM shield of four, so it's got a built-in ECM, whereas mine's not built in. I've got the clan ECM, which gives me a persistent of three, I think. Four. No, it's three, and then it reduces sensors enemy jamming by four. So it's almost the same thing, just not quite. Forty percent sensor stealth signature reduction. Three sensors check penalty harder to hit by two at medium. Three five at extreme. It's pretty close to the one that we have, but just a little better. Twenty percent weapon heat instead of fifteen. Fifteen heat per turn when active instead of ten. One that we have twelve fixed slots. Ours is six. I don't care about the cost to repair the armor because we get armor for free pretty much. And this is two tons. So ours is nothing. It doesn't weigh anything. So this is slightly better. It'd be nice to get one of these because the only the only one that we had was the one that I've got the regular the regular one. Exchangers would have been nice. If it wasn't a Kodiak, if it wasn't a hundred ton clan mech, um I probably would go for the that um, chameleon and the pair of exchangers because we definitely need exchangers. We don't have any. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's the Kodiak. Let's hope we get them though. All right, we got a gargoyle part. We got the extra Kodiak part, which is good because if our Kodiak dies, I think we get two of it, two pieces of it back, which means we'll have a third one to to be able to rebuild it. Regular ER large laser. Good, we're running low on clan ER lasers, so that's nice to get those. Medium laser, diverse optics. So this is the one that has variable damage and increased range. I'll hold on to that because it's got reduced heat. 420, these are 540, aren't they? Yeah, for 20. Yeah, I'll hold on to these because we might use them. SLDV, F cockpit. Got two so that can go. Two 400 cores. We got both. <laughs> and we got the both of their heat sink kits. Oh my god. Or the engine heat sinks. Laser heatsink clan. So does this minus sixty at the end of the turn? Again, to, identical to clan tech double heatsink. The lack of liquid and gas in the system reduces the chances of heat-based ammunition cook-off. Laser heatsinks don't get the decreased performance on warmer worlds that a single and double heatsinks have. Well, at the same time, preventing laser heat sinks from taking advantage of immersion in water or cooler weather to boost their performances. Oh, I see. So, 
This is just a flat out bonus. So you don't get any bonus on, on cool cool worlds or in water. And you don't get any negatives for being in the desert and probably on irradiated like on radiation worlds, which we haven't done any fighting on yet. That's actually kind of cool. And then we got a laser heatsink kit too. Plus 40% signature. Minus 60 heat at the end of the turn. So who was running this? Maybe the gargoyle? No. Maybe the... No, it couldn't... Well, could, well, I don't think it was the Kodiak. I don't know. Well, we've got them anyway, so that's something we can try out in the future. For, like, I mean, we, we, we've been doing a lot of fighting on, on the warm planet, so... All right, so let's take a look at that. So we're at 1.8 million right now. If we go to the mech bay, I'm interested to see what that Kodiak's got, like, advantage-wise. I don't know. The Hellbringer was okay. I, don't, I think it was in the wrong situation. I mean, I guess I could have pushed that um, exterminator a bit. My only fear was to come was coming under fire by the other guys through the buildings. But, I mean, I think that's okay. I mean, I guess I could have, ex I guess I could have extended it a bit more, but it wasn't a perfect example of the fight for this guy, so we'll have to see. Um, but definitely a good city build, I think. Definitely a good city city fighter. Okay, so let's have a look. Now we don't have a lot of heavy mechs. Got a lot of like, got b more bandits, storm crows, novas. Because I'm thinking about building like a heavy heavy slash assault lance, then everything else like like lower. Like lower heavy, like 60, 65 ton, and then medium max. And running three lances of six. We need to get the, the uh, gamma pod up and running for that. But I'm thinking about doing that. Because we should be able to generate enough sea bills to manage having all those mechs. If we have, if I'm running six missions, like each, like in one day, one game day, I could run six missions, or three missions, right? So, apologize for the noise outside, guys. Um... I'm on a motorcycle street. There's several people here with motorcycles, so some of them are really nice too. Um, generally, the pe I gotta say too, the people here with the motorcycles are generally really, 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 really sp respectful of everybody around. There's often times that you get people that just aren't. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this. Improved jump jets, ER larges. So I, I wonder if this guy was the guy with the. Uh, I never did check to see if this guy, because this guy, I think though that uh, heat sink kit would be perfect in here because with a 400 core, I can't believe we got two 400 cores. This one's already got a 400 core built in. Oh my god, we got three 400 cores out of that mission. And the exchanger. So what did we get out of that? We lost all its weaponry, which I don't care about. Definitely want to keep the jump jets in this thing. Uh, we lost two jump jets, right? Yeah, so this this was the guy with the laser heat sink kits. Because I was going to say, this would be a perfect mech for it. Because with the 400 core, and then if we go with the internals. I don't have a lot of melee stuff, so I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do to put this guy together. But that right there... And we got the laser heatsink kit too. <laughs> we got so much out of this. And extra heat sinks. Like it'll keep this thing completely cool all the time. The fact that it's like it's not an omni mech. That's kind of scary too. Cause if it goes down, that's like a huge cost to us. Like I can't. It's already built in though, arm accuracy and everything, so I don't have to worry about those. So what would I have? I, I, I sold all my melee stuff because I wasn't planning on doing a melee mech with this, but when a Kodiak drops, you know, you stand up and take notice. <laughs> uh, maybe I should sl shift the stealth system to this guy. Is it, does this? It gives us more signature though. Unfortunately, it's just like, this thing just screams, hey, here I come. Cause we could do, 
Like, if we decide not to go with the laser heat sink kit on this guy... Right? I can get an XL gyro, I can get defensive gyro in here. Plus one evasion pips. Defense against being hit, we can get the supercharger in here. Right? Because our movement's 4-6 without it. If we put the supercharger on... It'll be 6 walk. Which is great if we have a stealth system. Right? Max out the armor. We're already, we're, I mean, this isn't too... I mean, because we came with it came with the core and the XL already built in, the rebuild on this is pretty cheap. I can't afford it right now. I'm not going to do it right now, but I will do it. The exchanger probably... I mean, we probably don't need that. I mean, it really depends on what... Like our heat sinks right now, if we just put a regular clan double heat sink kit in this, which we've got lots of, heat efficiency is at 96 already. Spall liner or once we get stealth we can go stealth but we can go spall liner early it cranks up our weight but who cares right clan endo drop the weight a little bit we've already maxed out the armor right yeah TSM Activates when above 27 heat, deactivates when below 24 heat. 1.5 melee damage when active, plus 60 meter walk distance when active. So we could go this route. We might want to pull this out though. Right? That's the uh, that's an option. Um, the Clan Guardian ECM is great. Um, is it this one I was thinking of, or is it the Warfare Suite I'm thinking of? Jams enemies by two. Sorry, passive start, starts off in passive mode, which is, yeah, ECM shield of three, and reduces enemy jamming by four on the carrier. So that's what you would want to start off with. So you're, you're jamming them by three, and you're reducing them jamming you by, by four. In close range, that is. Um... And then you'd go with an energy build. I wonder, does this provides two evasion? Let me know if you if you guys know this. It provides two evasion pips ignored. Is that including melee? That would be interesting to see if that would be including melee or not. We could go with the pirate fire control system to add some heat. And, yeah, accuracy with range, we oh, sorry, yeah. One evasion pip ignored. I mean, that's a possibility. I'm just spitballing at this point. Um, as far as the sensors go. Recon sensors, yeah, that's like an ECM, though, so that's not going to work. We could go this route, and the reason why I say this is that It'll allow us to shoot whatever weapons we put on this. Um, that's probably a better. That's an. That's a good option too. It'll allow us to to um, shoot the weapons we have at, at longer range while we're closing. I still think though, if you know, if you looked at those Kodiaks, even if they were running six squares, we could easily just stay away from them and kill them. You really need a lot of guys. To really make them work. And I mean it could. I mean imagine this. There's your heat per turn right there. And we got like almost ten tons left. It's like you want to heat up you want to heat up to be able to move fast. You just fire both of these guys and then just push forward. So these are 67 heat each. The other way to do it would be to go more along the lines of what they were doing, I think. And you could go this route. That's a lot more heat. But then you'd be able to mix and match what you'd want to fire, right? At that point, you can go ahead and do... Um, 
You could drop the exchanger back in just to mitigate some of that and then some heat sinks, right? So we get the regular clan double heat sinks. Split them up a little bit. We've got weight for this, so. You know? I could easily drop 0.7 tons and put another heat sink in there too. So 126, 194, so that's like 50 over. That's not with the that's not including the jumping or the AMS firing. You wouldn't use this or sorry this guy then. We use different sensors at that point. I don't know. I mean there's we have some options. You could drop a heat bank in too. I mean it would stop enemies from overheating us too, right? 20% resistance to uh, heat damage taken, which is not too bad. Increased visibility and Q sensor. So we would do that. Then I would do um, another double heat sink. And then just for the sake of argument at this point, you could do... Uh, I can't do that. We don't have any space. Yeah, now we're out of space. But I mean, we could drop a tiny bit of back armor to mitigate that. Something like this. How's that for a beast? So we got the ER largest to fire at long, long range before we even close. So at least it's still a some like a, a, a half decent platform to be firing. And then it's got the four ER mediums when we close a little closer. You know, for that matter, we can even put, um, once we get them, tracker sensors on there to give us better targeting at range, so at least it's a little bit more effective before it closes. Then we find a nice cockpit and targeting computer for melee, because I know there's a melee one that gives you bonus to hit. And then as we get other items, like, you know, claws and things like that, we can start sw swapping out some of this stuff, right? Because even then, I mean, what's our melee here? Uh, close range. Melee damage, 280. I don't know whether that's true or not. It's got battle fists already built in, so it's like the archer, right? It's already got battle fists. Accuracy for punch melee attack, 10% punch attack damage, 10% multiplayer punch stability damage. What's the death from above, does it say? It doesn't. 53 melee stability damage, though. Ah, DF DFA is going to be a lot bigger, though. The last thing you want is this guy jumping on you. Medium range damage is 230. Long range is 230. Very long range is 110. Yeah, long range, I mean, these guys are shooting at, what, 540? Yeah. So now I don't consider 540 long range for me. 360 is short range for me. 540 to 600 is medium range. And out to 900 is long range for me. That's the way I think, anyway. So if you're within 360, you're at close range. Because that just means that... All, pretty much all of their short range weapons are going to be able to come to bear on you. The AC-20s, the medium lasers, most pulse lasers, some of them are only have a range of 300, but most of those medium weapons are going to come into range at 360. So that, that for me, is the close range. That's where I don't want to be. Anything after 360, I'm okay with. Like, for me, 500 to 600 meters is probably the best range for me. Because, like, a lot of my weapons are ranged for that. But I'm going to leave this here. That's 1.855 million. Going to leave the mech. I'm going to see if we can find um, some more melee gear offline. And if we can get this guy running, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, make sure we don't fucking upgrade right now because that would just be bad time. <laughs> I don't think I would make my financial report if I upgraded that now. 18 days. Oh, uh, maybe. I'd have to take a couple of low-level clan missions, which I don't think exist. So, and then we don't get the Timberwolves back to... We get them back just before the end of the month, but I haven't put anything in them yet, so let's put a Kodiak down here for now. But yeah, like I said, one, you know, Assault Heavy Lance, you know, so 75 to 100 tons, and then um, one sort of like lighter heavy and like lighter, like two lighter heavy max lances, so like between 65 and 50 tons, and then in, in like 70 to 100 tons for this lance. Or I mean, the 70 tonner will probably drop down here. So 75 to 100 and then 50 to 70 
which will be these two lances. I think that's what I'm going to go with. But we still have a bit of work to do. Uh, if I go to the command center real quick. Always good to see Let's you. Let's not go to the yeah, command center. So here's the mission I was talking about. Now, I upped the salvage, which is why it's a little higher here. And the price is a little higher. So this is the Word of Blake mission I was talking about. Urban environment. It's been here like for a month and a bit now. So I'm sure, I'm assuming it will still be here. But this is going to be, I'm hoping, the final battle. Although this just showed up. Oh, it's Marian Hegemony, though. There's an attack and defend here, too, which I want to do. Um, but that's a little easier because the mechs come in stages, whereas this one, they're all in the field at once, most likely. So this is the one I want to kind of do. It's f I know it's only four skulls. But like I said, it's Word of Blake. So my my guess is it's like three to... F well, two or three lances anyway. It's six mechs each. I don't know. I don't know. Like At least these three... We'll probably do all three of them. And this one here, the uh, target acquisition in the Badlands <laughs> in Five Skull, we might be able to do it. Might be able to do it. We do have some speedy mechs, but at Five Skulls, they're going to get trashed pretty quick. So, I don't know. Um, I wish I had that lamb jumping halfway across the map board. It would totally be worth it, I think. But I think we need more than one, though. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Uh, actually, wait, what was I doing? I was thinking of something else. Sorry, mech bay. Uh, engineering. Yeah, so we need the beta pod. That's 2 million. Like 1 point something. It's less now because I got I got pilots that reduce the cost of stuff. So that is 1.8. I got to get the drop tonnage up a little higher. Uh, I don't really care about the training modules. Our pilots are pretty good as it is. And I got to get some more of this stuff. But yeah, so we want to get the gamma pod up and running. Uh, then we can run those lances. But uh, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.